I wanted a place to start a business. Uh, it was logical to start Aeneas uh, Internet Services at the time. We were the first internet service provider in West Tennessee uh, and most all rural counties here. Uh, we started in downtown Jackson and uh, that was a great choice. Uh, in 1999, we renovated a warehouse uh, on College Street across the First United Methodist Church. Uh, we didn't know at the time in 1999 that that was going to be a direct ground zero for an F5 tornado, a very devastating one in 2003, May, May 3rd, 2003. Uh, unfortunately, totally demolished the building, uh, and we've had subsequent tornadoes, but this one really sucked downtown. And that stirred a lot of rethinking about downtown Jackson. Aeneas Communications, Aeneas Internet and Telephone moved about six blocks from 301 South Church Street to our present location, which is on College in Cumberland. And this building had been abandoned for over, over a decade. And by abandoned, I mean open to the elements. The windows you see behind me were, were open and there were pigeons and wildlife here. Uh, we cleaned it up uh, and uh, the back part of the building, it's a huge building, about 27,000 square feet. And what you're seeing here is just a piece of it, the original sanctuary in the back part, which was the uh, church administrative offices that we had moved the telephone company, the data center, and our operational offices into. So, and this building, uh, this sanctuary has found new life with uh, its identity as the Aeneas building and it's used for public events. Uh, the math on historic renovation works. So I want to encourage people to think about that um, in whatever community you live in because this 27,000 square foot repurposing wound up costing at the time about 85 cents a square foot in uh, remodeling costs. New construction at the time was a dollar quarter a foot. It's north of that now. So we have these downtowns, these county seats in Tennessee and all over the country, geographically located. With the advent of the automobile, highways get built around that, take the traffic elsewhere, and that's contributed to that cycle of decline that we saw in the 60s and 70s and 80s and, and maybe continuing in some places where population moves to suburbia. Well, you get that new architecture. You don't know whether you're in Santa Rosa, California, or Brentwood, Tennessee, or Miami, Florida. It's kind of all the same. It's all built in the past 30 years. It all looks the same. You don't know where you are. It's generic. People don't feel a sense of place. Downtowns and historic buildings have tell something about the community and its past. It's got got history, it's got soul to it. So people people just feel different by the space around them and the buildings and the structures, they feel different. So it's important to preserve these older buildings, stabilize them. If there's not an immediate use for them, don't tear them down. Just don't let them be a safety hazard or an eyesore, preserve them. Some, some entrepreneur will come around and do what we've done and uh, it'll make a business there. Then you get the foot traffic, you get the additional commercial activity, the tax base rises, everybody wins. So I'm an advocate. Uh, you need to know where you've been to know where you're going, so the history is important for all of those reasons and more we don't have time for.